great to be here. And uh, greetings from the side of UNDP and the United Nations. In fact, I'm really moved because I feel I am at the United Nations. A applause for the United Nations. You all are the United Nations. So you, I understand you will be divided into eight different uh, SDGs very soon. And then you will analyze from the perspective of the different SDGs your, your work. But I thought it would be good to give some contextual uh, comments how important the SDGs are for the United Nations and for the world as we see it. Now, do I have a slide? Does this work? Is there any trick? <laughs> okay. Well, technology, you know. As I said, Amadeus was my song when I was 20. So uh, a lot has happened since then. Um, now, I think the dilemma of the 21st century is that uh, human development has never been as high as it is now, as you all know. Uh, people get older than ever before. They have a higher literacy rate than ever before. They have a higher income before, but nevertheless, we still have 700 million people living in absolute poverty, and we have catastrophic impacts on the environment. We have kind of reached the limit of what the globe can take, an impact of economic development in the last uh, 150 or so years. So this picture basically reminds me of some of the assignments that I had in the UN before sometimes very affluent cities, and nevertheless, basically, there seems to be the stickiness of absolute poverty, and the eradication of that is at the very heart of the SDGs. Who knows where this picture is from? Aral Sea. I was posted in Uzbekistan, in my posting before Malaysia, and one of the most moving uh, sites that I've ever experienced was to come to the shores of the former Aral Sea which was the, uh, one of the largest lakes in the world, the fish bowl of Central Asia. And now you're standing there and there's a couple of rusty ships lying in the desert. And it's about 180 kilometers until the shores begin now uh, of, of the sea. And it's hardly any, supporting hardly any biodiversity anymore. And I think these two pictures I wanted to use because they really depict, I think, the core challenges of the SDGs. This is not the world that we want. I think we are all uh, in agreement on this. The world that we want, we believe from the United Nations, has been very, very, very well defined in the Sustainable Development Goals. And these goals were conceptualized in an incredible, unprecedented consultative process in between the years 2012 to 2014. Uh, consulting about 8 million people in the world, 193 member states, and then they came up with a very, very comprehensive structure of these 17 famous goals. And that also led to the fact that they were approved by all 193 member states. So we never at the United Nations had a vision that was so inclusive, that was so consensus-based as the Sustainable Development Goals. You all know the goals, of course, but the key issue is we are now two and a half years into the goals, and the message of the Secretary General is that we are not making enough progress on them. And that's where you come in. We are really looking at you as uh, incredibly talented young people with uh, a, a vision for life, with uh, a certain conditioning about the problems of the 21st century and with, with the ingenuity, ingenuity of, of, of innovation. And we really look forward to having you in the next six days or so really coming up with fantastic solutions on taking the SDGs forward. I will not go into the SDGs, but I would like to leave you with three, I think, important things to remember all the time when you design solutions on the SDGs. The first principle is that they are interconnected. And Ashish already mentioned this in a very, very, I think, um, uh, articulate way. 
if you start from one of the SDGs, be it uh, climate change or be it uh, sustainable energy, please always look at the overall framework of the SDGs, which always are balancing economic development, environmental impact and social impact. And uh, you don't, don't get scared about the 169 targets that they are. I think these are technical targets for macro level. This will have to be measured by countries. But it is important for you, I think, to always think through whether you can uh, uh, take into account this different dimension. The second principle uh, here is principle number one is leaving no one behind. The idea of the SDGs is to reach everybody and to reach those that are excluded first. So if there is a possibility in your solution to build in some aspect that really reaches those that are unreached first, then I think it is hitting very much the spirit of SDGs. And thirdly, the principle of sustainability. We are recognizing an intergenerational responsibility that we have in the 21st century. As I said before, we have, uh, of course, climate change. We uh, know that uh, the extinction of species at the moment is about a thousand times the rate as would be uh, natural without human impact. So sustainability is the second key principle that you have to take into account to really come up with SDG compliant, if you want, solutions. I have already said the role of youth. You are three billion. Never was youth uh, a bigger group than now. And we, the older generation, look really towards you um, as uh, those that come up with the solutions. And I think there's no better forum uh, than Unleash to really enable you to come up with solutions. That's why UNDP and the UN is very proud to actually partner with uh, the Unleash team. Finally, innovation. Innovation is certainly the DNA that we have in our work. Um, we are building it in, in, in all our work, be it uh, through design thinking, uh, be it through new technologies, uh, artificial intelligence, blockchain. We also don't understand it, but still we, <laughs> <laughs> we are using it. And I've been told to uh, kind of get you together to help me launch an innovation campaign today, to participate in an innovation campaign. And this innovation campaign is called um, the color of innovation. It's very simple. Video yourself answering two questions. What is the color of innovation and why do you say that? And then post the video on social media. I think it's very much in line with the Unleash idea of promoting innovation. And let me start first. My name is Stefan Priesner. My color of innovation is blue, because blue is my favorite color. But it's also the color of the vastness of the sky, of the universe, of the oceans. And I think it shows how limitless innovations are to help us achieve our goals. So best of luck. I wish you great team thinking, great inspiration in the next few days. And always remember, you are part of the biggest idea that the world ever had. Thank you. Wow.